One point of confusion for a lot of folks that are using Tonex pedal is whether they're able to edit all of the parameters of a tone model on the Tonex pedal itself, much like we would be able to do on Tonex software. A lot of folks don't realize that we can actually do this, but we do have to have one very important setting set to the right mode. I've had many folks say things along the lines of, oh, I sure wish I could control the bass frequency on the Tonex pedal instead of always having to do it in the software or any other other certain parameter. Well, we certainly can do this. Now, if we simply come in here and come to our model encoder, and we're going to long press that, scroll to global settings, and enter global settings, we're going to go just a few rotations down to user mode. Now, when I click this, you'll notice that mine says advanced, but if I rotate that, that will go to either easy or back to advanced. So we're gonna set it to easy for now. We have the ability to control obviously these parameters that are on our pedal marked, right? We can lower or raise the gain, we can, we can move the bass, we can move the mids. If we long hold our parameter button and we go down to this layer down here, reverb compression, right? We can control the threshold, the reverb mix. We can control our noise gate and presence and depth. Now the problem is there's a lot more parameters than that in the software itself. Now you'll notice if I do come to my parameter control here and turn that, that is controlling our model volume. But a lot of people don't realize that if I press that one time, I can actually control more parameters. And you'll notice here, I can do model volume, reverb type, right? I can do time of that reverb if I press it again. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating to the parameter and then I'm pressing again and the color of the reverb. But that is it. And this is where the point of confusion comes in. That's because I'm set on easy mode. So let's go back into our global settings and we're gonna scroll back down to user mode. We're gonna set this to advanced. That's the setting we have to be aware of. Once we're there, we can now come back to our parameter encoder, press it one time and you'll notice now I can control model volume, Noise gate, whether it's on or off. I can do noise gate release. I can do noise gate depth. I can do the compression either on or off. I can do compression gain. I can do compression attack in milliseconds as we see it there. I can do compression patch. Now that's gonna tell me whether I'm pre or post when we see the word patch in there. Bass frequency, mid Q, mid frequency, and on and on we go. As I roll through this, we see that we have all these different parameters, just like on the software that we can now control. And it's going to give us the ability to set those. And then by going back to our main menu, pressing our preset encoder and holding it, we can name that and then we can press again, choose a location where we want it to save and then save it. If we don't make that save, when we navigate out to a different preset or tone model, we will come back and we will not have saved the changes. And that's another point of confusion for a lot of folks. So I hope that that was clear and I hope that that was helpful and I hope it helps you get the most out of editing your tone models directly on Tonex Pedal. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Links are in the description below where you can get all the tone models that you heard in this video.